so here I am again talking about another one of my books this time I'm going to be talking about Bloodbound this is a novel it's a vampire novel and it's a bit gothic it's also a little bit sexy as well there's quite a few sex scenes in it it wasn't intended to be that way uh, see the next time. Um, but that's how it happened People who've read the book, though, still say so there's still a plot. It's still engaging. Um, they still want to know the outcome. So it's not just sex. There is actually a plot there. The story centres around Pandora, who is our main character. And she is a vampire hunter. And the main vampire in it is simply called the Puppet Master. Both Pandora and the Puppet Master have had such an effect on my life. They've actually come into some of my poems as well. And as I go through the poems in my two books, I will also read those poems and link it back to Bloodbound, so you know what I'm referring to. Bloodbound, the hope for that is this is part one of a trilogy. I'm currently working on Blood Brother at the moment. To read extracts from the book, though, is slightly more difficult than reading a poem. Obviously, you pick a poem, you read it, that's fine. The problem is with reading excerpts from a book is that a lot of it is taken out of context. So I'll try and do my best to pick bits that don't need too much explaining before or after. Uh, apart from sitting here and reading the whole book in segments. So, probably the best place to start is the beginning. Now, as I've mentioned before, I can't memorise stuff, so I will be reading straight from the book. Hopefully, again, like before, though, it's not going to distract too much from what I'm saying, and you can still get an idea of what's happening. So, maybe I should mention as well, the book is written in, I can see that, in diary form. So up here is the date. So all of these are entries in a diary. So there won't be a lot of dialogue. There's going to be a lot of description. And probably the best place to start is at the beginning. So 24th of July 2013. How do I put into words all that I am feeling today? This is going to be a long, hard battle. Maybe if I introduce myself, that will help. I am Pandora Wixon, only child of Rita and Roger Wixon. My name, once upon a time, was Wixon, which is German. But my great-grandfather changed his name when he moved to Britain at the end of the Great War. Without much imagination, he changed the O to an E and Wixon was born. Beyond that, it is thought to have been a name given to carpenters, which, like many cultures, involved into a surname. Funny enough, we are a family of people who work with our hands, or at least that is what I thought. Dad was an engineer, something to do with metal. Mother wouldn't tell me much. All I knew that he would be away months on end, and I grew up alone. Grandad was a carpenter, of sorts. He built coffins, arguing that it was a business that would never die. Ha ha. I myself am a sculptress, mainly working in the mediation of clay and metal. I suppose I make steampunk works of art. I suppose the other important thing you should know about myself is that I truly believe I was born in the wrong time. I don't mean the wrong decade, I mean the wrong century. At least a hundred years too late, or maybe more. Maybe it's a remnant of a past life. 1882 seemed to be much more alive than 1982. It is a time of the big talk circuses, of P.T. Barnum and Jumbo the Elephant. Siberian was reformed, electric trams were being used in London, the cure for TB, or consumption as it was known then, 
had been discovered. Jesse James was killed by Robert Ford in the old American West. Well, I could clearly go on and on and on. And sometimes I do. So, I would like to have been born maybe 1852. At that amazing time of life of 30, I could truly understand the wild times that are being had. Although, as a woman in that time period, maybe it might not have been plain sailing for me. But it would have been worth it to be amongst that time frame. And it's not just history that calls out to me. The literature of the time as well. Give me Robert Louis Stevenson's The New Hour of Nights over Harry Potter. Give me Anthony Trollope's The Fixed Period over Bridget Jones. And even though it's written a hundred years roughly before I'd rather, I'd be reading any of the Marquis de Sade's Liberty novels than any of the Fifty Shades of Grey bio. As you can imagine, this does make me very unique amongst contemporaries. I am a loner. I have no friends but my artwork. I do not care. I enjoy my own company. So that's a brief introduction into Pandora and giving an understanding of who she was. And like I said, I'll keep doing reading bits of this so you can find out more about her, Puppet Master and all the other characters of Bloodbound. That's it for now. I hope you enjoy it and please feel free to leave any comments below.